In this video, you will learn how to assemble a base cabinet. To assemble this cabinet, you will need the following tools and supplies. A power drill equipped with a Phillips head bit or a Phillips head screwdriver, a dead blow hammer or rubber mallet, and a staple gun. While an air-powered pneumatic staple gun will make the job easier, you can also use an inexpensive manual staple gun. We tested the Aero Model T50 Heavy Duty Staple Gun with success, and this model can be found for under $20 at most hardware stores. You'll also need the appropriate 3 8 or 10 mm staples for your staple gun, as well as a bottle of wood glue, which will form the primary bond that holds your cabinet together. A pneumatic pin nailer will help you assemble drawers quickly, but it is not required since the drawers can also be fastened together using wood glue. We'll show you both ways of assembling them. If you aren't using a pneumatic nailer, you will need a hammer and some 2D finish nails to attach your cabinet's toe kicks. To get started, you'll assemble your cabinet drawers. Familiarize yourself with the pieces of the drawers using the dovetail joints and grooves as a guide. Tap them together using a rubber mallet or dead blow hammer. And then tack them together using a pneumatic pin nailer. If you don't have access to a pneumatic pin nailer, here's how to assemble the drawers using wood glue. First, apply a small amount of wood glue into each section of the dovetail joint. Make sure that the groove for the drawer bottom is properly oriented and then press the dovetail joint together. Use a dead blow hammer or a rubber mallet to tap the dovetail joint together until it is flush. Finally, wipe off any excess glue with a damp cloth. Repeat this process as needed to complete your drawer's assembly. Continue assembling your drawers as shown. Lay the front panel of your cabinet face down and then apply a bead of wood glue into the grooves along the back side of it. If you accidentally apply too much wood glue, simply wipe off the excess with a damp cloth. Next, attach 90 degree assembly brackets along the edge of the groove as shown. These will serve to support the side panel while the glue dries. Remember, the placement of these angle brackets is much less important than having a good snug fit so that your glue will dry properly. It is the glue that creates the permanent bond. Slide the side panel into place, make sure it is flush at the top and bottom and along the grooves, and then screw it in place into the assembly bracket.
After screwing in the assembly brackets, we'll add a top corner bracket to reinforce the top portion of the unit. Repeat the previous steps on the opposite side. Slide the bottom shelf into place along the groove. Make sure it is nice and flush using a dead blow hammer or rubber mallet if necessary. Now on the bottom of the cabinet, we'll attach assembly brackets to hold everything in place while the glue dries. Just attach assembly brackets to the front and one side for the moment. We'll attach the third side after the back panel is in place. Slide the back panel into place, making sure it is flush, and then secure it with staples along the seam. Once you've got the back panel stapled along both seams, it's time to install those last assembly brackets on the bottom. Remember, the placement of these angle brackets is much less important than having a good snug fit so that your glue will dry properly. It is the glue that creates the permanent bond. Fasten the back panel in place by installing the inch and a quarter wood screws into the pre-drilled holes. Now, add top corner brackets to the top rear portion of the cabinet as shown. Insert the plastic piece of the drawer glide into the pre-drilled holes as shown. Mm -hmm. 
slide the metal portion of the drawer glide into the plastic piece as shown. Here's a close-up of how they connect. Fasten the metal part of the drawer glides to the side panels of the cabinet as shown using the included screws. Don't forget to attach the clear bumpers to the back of the drawers and the doors. Now it's time to attach the toe kick. You can do so using a pin nailer or with a hammer and 2D finish nails. Finally, place the drawer onto the glides as shown. Here's a close-up of how they connect to each other. Once you've got it inserted, your cabinet is complete. 